Uh, welcome everyone to the official podcast. It's the same for men here with a special man friend. You'll know him as Chris Topher Oni. Go ahead and introduce yourself, my friend. Hey, everybody. We. <laughs> There he is in all, of his, all of his glory. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, sorry, I, I couldn't help but make a silly voice. And now Chris will introduce himself. Uh, hey, I'm a boy. <laughs> What's up? All right, there it is. That's his whole introduction. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Simple so let's enough. Let's move on to the topics of the day. Mm-hmm. That should be all the cred we need, so you can leave now. Okay, <laughs> we're famous. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> can you send in uh, DiCaprio on your way out? He's been waiting a little while. <laughs> Call me a stinky loser on the way in. Really? Well, yeah. Bear doesn't lie. That's fucked he's, up. He's, uh, he's power hungry. Are you making up stories about Academy Award winner Leonardo DiCaprio? Yeah, no, it's he hard won. hitting facts. Oh shit! He's got facts and evidence and shit. That right, brings so me let's... to. It. Oh, uh, I was going to no. kick it off with a question. Unless you'd uh, like to. No, I was going to say let's move on to the questions. <laughs> I mean, we can fight over asking a question if you want. No, oh, Charlie, questions. please, by all means, ask your question. Yeah, yeah I, I've been writing down questions a lot recently because I'm really tired of just asking the same questions to every different guest. And so I've kind of more closely asked questions relating to the guest. So, Chris, yes, it's going to be sports. Guests? Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah, I usually relate the questions to different kind of guests. Huh. Okay. Yeah. So, Chris, as a man who likes to make cartoons and as a man who likes to to make silly voices on the internet what what is your opinion on sports which sports do you follow which God do you like God fucking damn it <laughs> Um I mean, that was uh, obvious but I'd still like it Um slip and slides I don't know That's, That's a, good a good one no one's That's talking really about sliding or sledding or whatever it's called <laughs> I mean not even he talked about shit. it So I let's all go ahead The bigger the mountain the bigger the slip and slide the bigger the jump into the big uh swimming pool those are the good sports. So, Hashtag Chris, pride. as a mm. child, did you own the slip and slide super geyser? Oh. I did not. I've always oh. dreamed. I had it. It was a blatant ripoff of advertising. <laughs> it was a piece of shit. <laughs> like, you remember those off. commercials where you'd have the volcano screaming at the children, being like, slip and slide super oh. geyser. Super geyser. Yeah. yeah. And then the kids were oh. like, whoa, dude, look, fuck. And then... <laughs> And then they'd slide and slip, and then I bought it as a kid, and it barely fucking slid half the time, and the rest of it was just, you had a tiny little sprinkler shit at the end that barely did anything. Did not you true. slip? Not true at all, man. Okay, did you well, slip or slide? Yeah, well, both. Did you have one, okay. Charlie? Charlie, did I you did, have one? Yeah. Well, then please uh, provide your rebuttal. Well, I mean, I guess yours was set up shittily, or you got a defunctioning, or Jesus, malfunctioning one. The one I had had like this cool little tube around it that was like blue. And then at the end, there was a giant pool with the sprinkler. And it was really cool. See, those are the good ones. Yeah, yeah. that one was cool as shit, man. Maybe I had a different one or you had a different one then. I don't know. One of Sounds like we didn't lie. have the same toy. I had a top. Yeah, maybe maybe <laughs> my parents did lie. They They just rolled out some plastic wrap and tied the hose to the end of it and said, Hey, I got it. <laughs> so slide hey, in the hose. <laughs> slide on in, son. What you do is you line up, you line up like 20, 20 mm. bend liners, spray it down with a hose, then you flip down there. Ooh. I, I, I like that. Yeah, that's, that's a slip and slide right to the ER, baby. Yeah, and you hold the bag open at the end, you fly into it. <laughs> oh, right. Who's holding the bag? Yeah, Santa. My dad. <laughs> my dad and my uncle. Just, uh, oh, I thought you said a dad, like a non specific <laughs> dad. Yeah, my, my new dad. <laughs> What's his name? I don't know, but he he slings you up over his shoulder and he slaps you down onto a stump. He knocks you out. <laughs> like Jason with the sleeping bag. <laughs> yeah, he puts you in the bag and he slaps you down. <laughs> then your firewood. Jesus Christ, what a, you had a, rough what a process. Yeah, good God. That's I Ireland did, for you. That's not that super geyser I know and love. <laughs> So okay, that can that can lead to a question. We've had we had an Irish guest on before, right? Or am I drunk? What? Oh, what? Uh, that green dude. Yeah, Jesus uh, Christ! Wasn't that, uh, wasn't sure. that, yeah, that it's... was Jack the guy. He is Irish. Oh yeah, right that there. loser. I want to make sure. Yeah. Good so Chris, how embarrassing! Yeah, yeah so please so, cut, so cut it out. Trying to him trying to remember who that was. <laughs> I didn't know if he was no. Irish or Scottish or what. I didn't want to. That stays. Presume. That stays in. In case you don't remember, he was kind of snarky to us last time. So I want him to be all riled up for the next time he comes back. Ooh, for round three with Kaya. Yeah. 
<laughs> so, so, uh, Chris, since everyone in Ireland knows each other, I guess the first question would be, do you know Jack Jacksepticeye? I do. He's a lovely man. Oh, yeah. well, see, Get my lost. thesis is proved every single day. <laughs> and, uh, the follow-up question is, what do you miss about Ireland? Um, I don't know. The cold weather. It's really fucking, it's like hot now. I don't like it. Where that. do you live now? Um, oh, oh and, uh, but put ice under your balls. I mean, <laughs> that's a good way to take a picture because it shrinks your balls down and makes them look cute. No, that's that's not what Travel you want. Size. You want, you want low-hanging, cheese-string, intimidating bull balls. <laughs> not the big, meaty balls. Ones. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I live in Los Angeles where it's very hot now. So what, what, okay, why, why Los Angeles? What do you like about Los Angeles? Yeah, that's not an island. Yeah. Um, I, I got a lot of friends here and they're all very nice. Oh. And that's, and it's got good internet, so that's nice too. Yeah, well, name three friends. I've got more. Nah. <laughs> uh, I got uh, Pets Fred. Friends. Fred, got Fred, Fred huh? Yeah, Fred, George. this guy. George, he says, uh-huh. Ron. Oh, Ron, yeah, a fake name. The Harry Potter character. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, they're fake. Harry Potter's not real, Chris. They're not your actual yeah. friends. What the fuck do you know, stupid? <laughs> so you haven't Chris, seen what I've seen. All right, all right, Chris. You've been invited to Hogwarts, right? Mm-hmm. So, so let's say you're invited to Hogwarts, and when you get there, you notice that everything is as it is in the movies, except Harry Potter is played by Hugh Jackman. What do you do, <laughs> Harry? <laughs> Or Harry, uh, not, no Heron, his his <laughs> deaf cousin from across the lane is there. <laughs> Middle East Tim, Harry Potter, yeah. Played Nobody would Jackman. bully him no more. <laughs> Draco Malfoy would be horny now instead. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me, you filthy mud blood, Heron Potter. <laughs> Heron, Heron Potter, yes. Yeah, There's some hair fisherman. in my Potter. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Jackson, you haven't said anything this whole podcast. Why don't you speak up? Yeah, what's Harry your Potter's problem? a good movie. I don't know. I'm just <laughs> really nervous around new people. Why? Uh, I'm a nice person. Look at me. Look at my icon. What do you see? Uh, I don't <laughs> trust the Irish. That's just no. Your icon's just blank to me. Is that oh. blank to everyone else? So it's related. It's blank. I don't, I don't think it shows too. up until you add people as contacts, Chris. I, f- yeah. I forget what my icon is even. It's Homer oh. Simpson. Oh, wait, is cool. that because you use Discord instead of Skype? Uh, no, I use Skype, but... Uh, oh, wow. Ooh, Damn it. Baby. This is the first time that's Ooh. ever happened. Why? Yeah, Why I do have, you use Skype? I have both. Uh, I like certain things about both of them. I, li- I like you, the simplicity of Skype. You like feeling like a giant Skype. piece of shit while you use Skype? <laughs> I like being able to add people with one word rather than look up their fucking specific fucking capital letter code every fucking time. Yeah, okay? that is a good All point. Right, I'll, give, I'll give Skype that. You're right. I'll give Skype that. Oh, look at this. We, look we've just at been this. having this running debate between Charlie being a troglodyte <laughs> from the seventh century wanting to Ugh. use Skype forever and I everyone don't... in the rest of the world liking Discord more. I also like logging into Skype but not seeing a forced meme every time. <laughs> <laughs> We're preparing your doge pictures. Ha ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing I hate about Discord, yeah. It's We're actually hip true. over here at Discord. Look at our troll face. We're so wacky uh, constructing pylons. <laughs> We're relatable. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Preparing for the raid with your clan mates. <laughs> Pounds and noobs. <laughs> Working up courage to talk to girl. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Shooting the school. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Shooting up the school. Loading a clip. <laughs> Sliding on the trench coat. I don't know why Discord is <laughs> catering Lincoln specifically Park. to gamers when it's a software that could be used by everyone in every industry. Yeah, they really dug well, their own grave with that it, one. I mean, it's supposed yeah. to be the the uh, replacement for shit like TeamSpeak and Ventrilo. So yeah, but yeah. at this point, they could easily replace shit like Slack and all the rest and Skype. But, I'm sc- excuse me, Slack. What the fuck is Slack? Yeah, really. Slack's massive. S- yeah, <laughs> never Slack heard of is it. Discord for grown-ups except yeah, really? is that their it could be discords if they didn't focus on being a fucking warcraft uh, team speech thing have you guys ever heard of text messages Ooh, those things are s- up and coming on the cell, cell phone, phone? emojis oh, they had their own movie yeah what? you can do that huh. that's true so when you're playing games do you just text frantically your friends that you're playing with um i haven't really played games much lately Oh. <gasps> like, except for like recording them, but 
they're all games I played as a kid, so I haven't really played much new games. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So that, so that, that okay, that can be a question. So, what what is it about new games that aren't really drawing your interest that the old ones have? Uh, I don't know. Okay, I, it's very specific. I like, I like simplistic games with like pretty much just a few mechanics, like like Tetris or whatever, right? Or I like linear shooters, like like Half Life. Mm-hmm. And a lot of new games are big open games that they don't really tightly design stuff. They You're just put the you in a world. First person I've heard say they prefer linear shooters than open world. See, that's the thing. The first I u- thing people bitch about. Yeah, no, I I used to prefer um, open worlds when I was like growing up. I'm like, this is more fun. There's more things to do. But now it seems like even though the world is open, there's less things to do, and it's mm-hmm. less designed mm-hmm. in that respect. So I don't know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, well open world, more. open world was the uh, fad for the last few years. Every single series had an open world installment, or was coming out with mm-hmm. one. Super no cool. one really ever adds new, like actual fun mechanics. It's always the same mechanics over and over and over. Just like go run up around, this shoot. tower. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. There's, <laughs> there's no like, there's no fun toys built into games that much anymore. Yeah, yeah. That's why I like RuneScape so much. It takes everything yeah. good about games and doesn't do it, but somehow <laughs> it's still fun. <laughs> RuneScape should hire better. I don't know programmers and designers, and I feel like there's a site for that, but I can't remember its name. Yeah, it's like, weird. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, hopefully you'll remember it. But in the meantime, let's talk about ZipRecruiter. Okay. What is it? Well, it conveniently is a place where you can post your job and also find and recruit people for jobs. So, Chris, you're a handsome boy, right? Yeah. And w- when you want to find other handsome people, you, you go to ZipRecruiter, right? Because they have the most handsome candidates. Yeah, you just give them a zip. <laughs> There's our that's, rating endorsement. That, that's what they. That's what they call it over there. It's instead of giving a like, it's just giving a zip. Give it a zip. <laughs> yep. Give it a zip. Give him a zip. Give him two. I like that. Yeah, they should I hire mean, us. The the thing is though, you could you could spend your time on like inconvenient and cumbersome job sites, but the thing is. ZipRecruiter doesn't depend on candidates finding you; it finds them. And in fact, over eighty percent. It's a big number. That's like four fifths or something. Jobs posted on ZipRecruiter get qualified candidates in just twenty four hours. That's also a big number. That's like one day. So find out today why ZipRecruiter has been used by businesses of all sizes to find the most qualified job candidates with immediate results. And a lot of people who are looking for jobs. If you're looking for a job, you don't have to go to a thousand different sites to upload your, uh, you know, your CV on each one differently in PDF form or type it in every time or copy it into a hundred different fields. You could just go to ZipRecruiter.com. ZipRecruiter.com slash official. Yeah. Well, yeah. ZipRecruiter.com slash official. If you're anything like me and sometimes look for artists for a cartoon you've been wanting to make for a long time and you go on DeviantArt and they just tell you your show is a shitty idea and then charge you 3000 per page, you could probably find better rates on ZipRecruiter and going on there now you get the promo code official and help find yourself some less pretentious artists today. We should Zip. literally do that actually. I'm genuinely considering it, Kai, ever since I found out about ZipRecruiter because I'm so tired. Because we can't go to ZipRecruiter.com slash official, we can post our job for free. We should, Let's do that. I, I want to because genuinely I've been... Deviant I've, art asshole. Actual endorsements, folks. For, for like the last two months of me pitching hard turbo to deviant artists, I've been told the idea is bad and that the art I was looking for would cost like 4000 per portrait. Oh, Jesus. that's awesome. Well, well. Thankfully, Uh-oh. on this episode, we have a world-renowned, famous let's player who also occasionally once does a cartoon every couple of days. So why don't you? No comment. Why don't you? Why don't you uh, push your idea on Chris and see what he says? Yeah, tell me, baby. Oh, well, well, it's, it's actually it's super not, yeah. duper secret. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Well, I mean, the whole yeah. You know, for a little while now, Kai and I have been working on this show slash web comic that we've been we've pretty much written the whole bible for this script for the show. It's called That's Hard right. Turbo gonna redefine everything you know about entertainment okay yeah <laughs> that's about that's that's it in a nutshell that's all we can Is tell you without pitch? an nda yeah that's a terrible pitch charlie what your the pitch hell? stinks uh, what are you talking like kind of what you're telling NDA. these people it's, it's under supposed NDA. to say funny things chris i'm sorry you're not important enough okay we can't just tell you Jesus, God, it, you have connections report- in the industry you could just steal the idea yeah is leonardo yeah. still Jesus. waiting tell him to bring steven spielberg in listen <laughs> 
Listen, Chris, if you, if you want the job, just go to ZipRecruiter. Find us there. <laughs> Apply for the job. <laughs> Fine, well, I'll, no, I'll try. It, it, don't, don't worry, though. ZipRecruiter is going to find him. Uh, exactly. Yeah. A, so go a, there, make a profile. And using if you're their worthy, patented four-way job system. Try and keep the name of the show on the on the lowdown. We report directly to the NSA, and we don't want it getting out like that. I feel yeah. I'm sorry for even suggesting anything. Paul Manafort had, had let slip the name the other day in the press meeting. We had him raided. Yeah. <laughs> it was okay. the fucking FBI. That was he got us. swatted. I promise I'll be good. I promise. Thank you, Chris. I can trust him. So, Chris. For now. Speaking hey. of uh, failed DeviantArt projects. Mm. What I, I guess what it's uh, not failed? Christ, okay. yeah, that was rude Fuck as hell. You. <laughs> <laughs> okay, spe- <laughs> speaking of projects, there I generalized it. Can you let us in on the lowdown of something you might be working on right now? Um, I'm working on two shows. Um, I'm, I'm I'm at the same stage you guys are. One of them I've storyboarded quite a bit, but oh, um, every time show. I. St- <sighs> Yes. Okay. I failed. Ooh. I'm banished. I can't wow. come back to Japan. Fucking. <laughs> I'm working on writing one show and I'm working on storyboarding another. And I'm working on music for a game. Ooh. That and if some... you don't like it, then leave me be. Oh, what a shitty pitch. What game? What show? <laughs> it's a big game on the PlayStation 4. Is it actually? Oh, Christ. Oh. That's. Oh, that's a lot better than our pitch already, Kaya. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> He's already on the fourth one. We, yeah, you guys were making the hard turbo game for PlayStation 2. Yeah, Christ, we're back ten years. Holy fuck. More than that. Did you have did you have the dev kit? No. Well, <laughs> then you're not cool like me. Oh, you have the dev kit? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's fucking rad. <laughs> I wish I didn't pitch hard turbo in front of him now. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fucking big shot. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> pretty pretty epic, you guys. Okay. So that brings me to a question. Which do you find yourself enjoying more? Because you've you've kind of put your wiener into a lot of different areas between, you know, <laughs> doing video game stuff, like I wouldn't really call them let's plays, cartoons, uh writing doesn't meet that- your standard? What do you yeah, mean? really. It's not exactly let's plays. It, it's Would literally it? called Oni plays. Yeah, I do let's li- plays. Yeah, I do shut up, Charlie. It's just a negative word. <laughs> God damn it! I don't like to use the word let's plays, and I was doing him the kindness of not saying it. I'm not offended. But I don't care. It's like um, I, I like doing stuff that's fun to me. So sometimes I'll be storyboarding, then I'll probably get sick of that for a week. So I'll go back to do music, and I'll get sick of that. And then every, every week, um. <laughs> For one day, we we record videos just to p- kind of pay the bills and stuff, and it, it's fun. I like playing games with uh, Ding Dong and Julian. They're like you know some of the funnest guys. So it it it, it all works out pretty fun. So you'd they say you'd like it. Love all of it equally as much. Then there's not something you prefer more than the other. Um, I I like um coming up with ideas for cartoons. I honestly I don't like animating them that much. It is very satisfying to animate something that you think looks good and you can watch it forever, and it's a really nice feeling. But to be honest, the, the slog of like getting through a scene like that is like really really uh draining. And um, yeah, like I I like writing the ideas and I like writing the stories and I like seeing it all to come together. But I I kind of wish the process was faster. Yeah. Mm-hmm. as for That's music fair. i i like doing music like when, when i'm feeling in the mood for it it's also not something i would like to do with all my time and let's playing is definitely not something i want to do with all my time i just do it because it's like it's i don't know it's like i i don't get any actual uh like gratification or not gratification i don't get any satisfaction for fucking like you know doing it it's just a fun thing to do and to take my mind off stuff for one day out of the week if I was so doing it all the time, I'd get I'd get very drained. So, do you think that That's fair. That's very one fair. one way you kind of motivate yourself through all these things are you just you look for challenges or things that are new and different to do as opposed to kind of yeah to, yeah. I found that like I'm not having fun if I'm not learning something new. If mm-hmm. I'm, if I'm not learning anything at all, then it's like there's no point. Yeah, I I think you and I are really similar in that way of viewing stuff because for a very long time, whenever I would want to edit videos and just sit down and not do it and just yeah. stare at the fucking program and be like, wow, this, 
here, here it is, just the same shit. And then now that I've switched to uh, using Premiere, which I've, I've never used before ever, I'm, I'm suddenly having a ton of fun editing stuff because I'm just relearning all these simple things and how it yeah. operates. And you're picking up new stuff too. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. What did you use before? I used to use Vegas, mm. which I mean, it was fine. Look a lot of people give it guff. They give it. I love Vegas. It's fine. It works. It's pretty simple if you want to do really simple things in it. Yeah. But it's really note, good to shit out a video with. I guess yeah. if we're mentioning like good software for people to start out with, I just yeah. today found out that Avid, the same company that makes Pro Tools, also offers Media Composer, which is apparently also a video editor, but it's free. Yeah, there yeah, are there's cool. some good free stuff. ones out there too. Yeah. I mean Vegas like Vegas Windows is Movie uh, Maker. <laughs> you got to get that uh, blue background, white text intro title <laughs> card or nothing. <laughs> nothing yeah. makes me feel more at home than accidentally finding a Windows Movie Maker video uh, on YouTube. Oh, yeah. same from eight or nine years ago. They're, they're comforting. Uh, do you also immediately scroll down to see what year it was uploaded in? <laughs> yeah. That you just oh, yeah. see oh nine. Oh, and it feels oh. so good. I, I you feel can't like even like do again. that anymore, can you? Like it, it feels you know, special. Just, like, yeah. oh, I found one, I found one, I found an old video. It's not a Let's Play, it's, a, it's an old cheesy music video with lyrics. Who knew by searching Naruto AMVs I'd find one? <laughs> oh, if you want the fast track to finding old Windows Movie Maker things, type in RuneScape music video. <laughs> Oh my god! Child. That's not that's not even just because uh not not even because I'm one of the best RuneScape players in the game right now, but the, everything from like oh six and oh seven on YouTube was predominantly like RuneScape music videos. Wow, <clears throat> it, it was dominated by it back then. One of my favorite things to do is uh, go on YouTube, uh, search any word, and then sort by date, and just see what you find. Because like the the very last videos that were uploaded, you'll see. So you can sort something like respect and then you'll sort by date and then you'll just see people being like i don't get enough respect Ugh! like that kind of shit and it's really funny <laughs> that's the whole video yeah, what, <laughs> yeah. what, is, what does the date have to do with that that sounds like that would happen every day Someone it does that's why it's fun so, no he's it's saying made, he's saying you, you sort it by like re not relevance or by their algorithms you just go by like the ah, right. yeah the very the, last thing that was uploaded yeah so you'll exactly. you'll find these like things with zero views being like my sister's mean to me yeah <laughs> maybe you used to the, use that trick shit, for porn the shit that <laughs> flies under the radar is what he said yeah yeah oh god yeah. Yeah, did did anyone else back when uh, YouTube had the new option where you could see every single new video being uploaded? Did any of you ever peruse that? I think maybe a couple times. I think I might have brought this up on an episode before, but that shit was the wild, wild west of the <laughs> internet for me. Like, I was too yeah. afraid to go anywhere, like, with actual, like, scary or hardcore stuff or porn. But I, yeah. I wasn't too afraid to just click new. And film and animation, when that category was prospering... Every single new video uploaded under that category was porn of one variation or the other. <laughs> nice. I, was I was afraid to click on it, but I clicked on one of them and I'll never forget it. It was a Russian video and I couldn't understand the title, but it was a girl with a giant purple dildo and the camera right next to her vagina and she squirted on the camera guy and he broke his camera. <laughs> That's something I'll never forget as long as I live. <laughs> you just broke it? Yeah. Charlie, you... disgusted. Uh you may have witnessed the first YouTube prank video. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it's gotcha. infancy. The old squirt prank. Uh -huh. Squirt on. My vagina can do this. Why'd he break it? He just got disgusted and threw his camera on the floor. Well, he, didn't, he, didn't, he didn't, like, spike it like a touchdown. <gasps> no! <laughs> it's corrosive squirting material. But it's what, what is she? She's a fucking xenomorph from Alien? Burning <laughs> <laughs> his skin. I, don't, I mean, I can't, I can't speak for him, but it, it's not like he meant to. It's just it got in his face and stood up and started wiping his eyes vigorously and the camera fell. It's expensive camera. Oh, man. That's, that's my least favorite thing is seeing cameras getting broke. I thought you were going to say getting squirt juice in your eyes. <laughs> that's, that, that's okay. Whatever. Just can't stand the cameras. <laughs> Such a waste of good tech. <laughs> so if, if you got it in your eyes, you'd be like, oh, protect my cameras. Oh. I always see videos of dudes standing on like the side of like a harbor and then a big wave comes over and destroys their cameras and they get really sad. Oh. Yeah, I, uh, I, at that point, I feel like they deserve it. <laughs> That's true. <laughs>
How dare they stand uh, next to the ocean? But people who bring their any sort of technology into hazardous environments and then they lose it, it it's yeah. completely on you. That's true. Like when you when you're on a roller coaster and you're fucking on your phone browsing tweets rather than having fun <laughs> and you just drop it, you deserve it. Like, I think it's just me being selfish, being like, I wish I I could have had the camera rather than he break it. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> That's the cutest That's thing I've ever heard. It's an entirely different aspect, of course. <laughs> yeah, I get that way. Anytime uh, I used to watch those old school cheesy. Oh, we we're breaking the new iPad Seven. We're gonna oh. skateboard with the iPad Seven and break it and I put it in a blender. Hate that. Oh, I, uh, that you dick I, like a poor Turkish kid could have used that. I have a friend who uh, it's it's mostly related when the when the first iPhones were ever coming out. I had a friend. Who he worked for a tech startup and he waited in line and was like camped out like third in line to get one so he could break it open and look at what was inside. And he he actually like cracked it next to the line and he got on the fucking news because everyone was so mad at him for it. Like <laughs> there were there were like news people interviewing the line people and shit, and they decided Especially. to interview him and do a story on him because everyone in line was like, What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> now it's common that, that used to be a really big trend on youtube where you'd go to like the playstation 3 launch and break it in front of everyone waiting yeah, yeah. Like, they used to be a prank or what no it just used to be like one of those videos you'd see on youtube like breaking the ps3 in front of the yeah. crowd and stuff it's, and shit like that yeah it's uh-huh. just something those guys are like this will get me a lot of views yeah i'll do it yeah that's exactly why it's, do it, it was the 3 a.m of its day mm-hmm. <laughs> Chris, how do you feel about those those YouTube shitholes that spiral down into nothing of like, oh, don't do this at 3 a.m. or here's an epic prank of McDonald's food, haha. <laughs> oh, um, just shitty prank channels? Any of them, like any of the YouTube trends, are there any that you've actually enjoyed or gone down the rabbit hole on? <sighs> I can't, no, you know what, I really can't think of any. What's Honestly, your opinion I, I don't, on I don't... the state of YouTube at the moment? It's awful. It's unbelievably terrible. I don't like mm. anything about it. I used to like it when you could like customize your page and like make a shit ton of money from cartoons, but then they <laughs> ruined it. <laughs> well, I, I asked this. Uh, guess who did I ask? Was it Ross? With the Chris, do you, have do you ever consider just joining the dark side and making those Elsa and Mario Ross. cartoons? <laughs> those low effort bullshit cartoons where you can make a buttload of money. Or just um, porn. Just make honestly, porn animations. Honestly, borderline I, porn I, I, parodies. Yeah. I was, I was like, thinking about it, just being like, wow, I, I wonder how easy it would be to be like, I'm uh, making, like, cartoons about Elsa and Spider-Man and shit like this. I, I guarantee you it would be so easy. But then the more you think about it, like, there's all these kids out there watching these videos and they're like, wow, this is normal. And then these kids are going to grow up with the most fucked up minds and these videos are destroying them as people. And I don't understand why, like, how you can do it uh, without well, feeling bad. They, <laughs> yeah, your your soul is hell bound for sure. But I'm just asking you if you ever considered turning, taking that contract with the devil. You're turning kids into fucking retards. <laughs> I don't understand it. But then you get a big paycheck, and it's okay. <laughs> yeah, you can wipe your tears with your fucking <laughs> yeah, hundred really. dollar bills. I yeah. donate all this money to the children who I've destroyed, and I'll enrich <laughs> their I, lives by getting myself a jet ski. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be honest, sometimes I consider that, like, how difficult could it be to learn that? Uh, maybe I should make low-effort videos of even live action stuff where, like, Andrew, you, you could grab a camera and then we just teach children how to use dildos, like those people did <laughs> on, on the trending page. That, that, that's actually, as a man yeah, who's against popular. pedophiles. That, uh, <laughs> what a monster he is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, I know the video you're talking about where they're like, this uh, is a dildo, no, but wait, you can't have it that? for Christmas. Don't even ask. Yes, oh, that's what I'm making fun of. As long as it's educational. educational. As long as it's educational it this was a, like a well, BuzzFeed kind of video. The kids? How, that They're makes like a big fucking difference. eight. Okay, They're no. like seven or eight. That's, no, don't do that. No, wait, maybe they, they were like, maybe they were it. nine, but they they were too young for this shit. Mm-hmm. Was it sponsored oh, yeah. by Bad Dragon or something? I forget. Uh, it, it was, it was sponsored something by similar. liberal degeneracy. Like I, I get having the talk around that age, but don't fucking throw horse no, cocks at it them. Wasn't, it wasn't the talk. They're like, this is a dildo, but don't ask mama for one for Christmas. You're not getting one. It's like, shut up, you stupid fat old hag. <laughs> this is These mine. kids don't want to see this. It's sticky. <laughs> fucking disgusting. Uh, yeah, I mean, welcome to YouTube of 2017. God damn. Do you guys remember in 2005, there used to be this whole... 
what what was trendy was watching atheists debate Christians. <laughs> you guys yeah. remember that stuff? And there used to be like the big dogs, like you know. Of, besides the atheists, you had these uh, theologists like William Lane Craig uh, and uh, Ken Ham, who did the who built a life size recreation of the Ark. <laughs> yeah, and they used to have the they used to have these harebrained articles of like how how the Earth is only six thousand years old and all that stuff. Creationism, evolution is a lie, and Today I read an article on Slate, again, Leftist Magazine. Literally the title is, Why Science Isn't Truth. And also, hang on, I I have this like in front of me. You guys are going to like this fucking headline. (laughs) Science is stupid. Science is... Literally. No, literally. this, This was their argument and it was in defense of Google firing the guy. Here's the headline. Evolutionary psychology is as terrible as you suspect. The rest of science is flawed too. So I don't know who was suspecting evolutionary science of being uh, bad. But how in the ever loving fuck can you shoot down a metaphysical concept with such g- gumption? And, that, hang that's on, like, when that's you, like when you're when reading you... books and you're like, nonfiction books are bad, all of them. They're just garbage. They don't know bad things. It doesn't make Here's any sense. The other half of the headline is stop equating science with truth. God forbid that happens. This is this is about the fucking. <laughs> You'd think this was written in, like, the 1950s or something by a creationist who's arguing against whatever, like, the Earth being round. And this is what what boggles my mind. I'm so glad that's back, that now it's a debate on whether or not the world is round. We're going full circle now. We're full round. Oh, flat earthers are the best. What surprises me is that people are shocked by that. Like, oh, can you believe there's people who think the Earth is round? How crazy is that? Meanwhile, the same people are running Google, apparently. Yeah. We Literally. Should turn, we should uh, turn that into a social justice debate on whether or not calling the Earth round is acceptable. Oh, uh, dude, I'm telling you, it's racist. Somehow. Round <laughs> is... It's not fair to YouTube that. animators. We, women paid. have boobs. <laughs> boobs are round. Therefore, a round Earth implies the Earth is female. You sexist. <laughs> Can I write for Slate now? Or HuffPo? <laughs> You're hired. Can I get my verification on Twitter for this? Oh, speaking of which, a little update on Twitter verification. If anyone follows that uphill battle, my recent verification request included that I am a gender issues poet. So fingers <laughs> crossed I'll get the check mark this time. You actually yeah, no, might. Th- they keep declining me too. Yeah, it's amazing. You Why? Have to, you, well, it's because I say dirty words. Oh, no. <laughs> well, no, no it's, it's not, not because dirty, dirty words. words. Yeah. That's not it's because the issue. I'm I'm a filthy bastard. Okay, that's what it is. <laughs> that's, yes. That is what it is. They had a boardroom uh, meeting about it. He says too many filthy words. Charlie, just <laughs> get progressively more lefty. Like, do you have pink hair dye? <laughs> get sad, uh, man. I, I'm not joking. I'm, I'm testing the waters here first. If they if they start to budge a little bit when I say I'm a gender issues <laughs> poet, then I'll take it to the next level. I mean, the galls on fucking Twitter <laughs> to verify a guy who calls himself Beyonce professor. But not a guy who has a hundred thousand followers. Yeah, Char- nobody knows who you are, Charlie. Charlie, what's going to happen is you're going to email them and say you're a gender poet, and they'll finally give you interest and say, "Oh yeah, which gender?" <laughs> oh, no, they're going to the say, "Okay, <laughs> sh- show us your poem about gender." <laughs> oh, I have. I can make a poem on the spot. Are you fucking kidding me? That's easy. I wouldn't. I wouldn't care about that. I can even link them my Genghis Swan poetry if they'd like. But <laughs> the point being is, I I don't think they even check that much, so I should be fine. <laughs> I don't know. They, I th- they might just have blacklists at this point. That's some possible. some professor at the Stanford University, where else, of course, openly admitted that he keeps blacklists of people so he doesn't hire them. If I'm pretty sure there's a there's, there's got to be a Twitter blacklist where if if they find one thing 100%. you've done, you're just on the list forever not to get verified. I guarantee it. Mm-hmm. I mean, you get shadow banned and all that stuff. So yeah, of course, yeah, of course there is. So you might never be verified, that Charlie, I'm afraid. It's fine. Uh, I'm going to keep trying. Pretty soon my entire Twitter bio and page will resemble something you'd find on a Tumblr activist thing. But anyway, for Chris, uh, the question I wanted to ask you is about the PS4 title you were mentioning. Is there anything you'd like to share about that? Any exciting news? Oh, um, it's being made by uh, Tom Fulp, uh, Jeff, and Corey from Newgrounds. Is it uh, Pit they People? Were, uh, no, it's called Nightmare Cops. Oh, 
Okay. And uh, those those boys are working on it really hard, and it looks really good. And uh, they let me do some of the music and a few voices for it, and I, I, I'm blown away by how like much work they're putting into it. it looks really, really great. So it's being made by Newgrounds.com, and I guess it's under the behemoth as well. The guys who made like Tom Fult made like Castle Crashes, and yeah, yeah. I'm a huge behemoth fan of his is work. they're doing yeah. pit people right now, right? Um, that's Dan Paladin's team. So, uh, him okay. and like yeah. Stamper and other people are doing that one. So while they're doing that, Tom, Jeff, Corey, and a bunch of dudes working at the office are working on Nightmare Cops. So the art style for Cops is going to be kind of different from the normal Paladin stuff we see in Castle Crashers and all that, I'm guessing. It's completely different. Like, um, I don't know if you've ever seen Johnny Utah's art. Uh, I have. He did like if you remember Tank Man on Newgrounds, it's that kind of stuff. Okay, I also threw dynamite in his horse with Swain in Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> I can't. It's perfect. That, that those were fun times. You, you you are the famous man Swain talks about. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, can we just talk about Swain for one minute? Yeah, sure. Just one one yeah, minute of, of Swain. He's Fine. this fucking. He's a six foot four, beautiful man who's beautiful and perfect in every way, and he spends his time <laughs> trolling people. That's all he is. It's the funniest shit to me. Yeah, he's got like a lovely wife and a lovely home, and he's doing very well. And he—that's <laughs> all he'll ever be to me—is this big fucking troll. He's a nice boy <laughs> that I need to talk to more often. I love when he that came man. on here, that's what he said. His biggest dream was pretty much was just to keep griefing in games. And shit. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, I love him. He's, it, I, he's, he's I one can, of my uh, best. I can share this behind the scenes story, I guess, since you'll know him too, Chris. Uh, I was yeah. at his at his uh, house in Miami. So the, the way yeah. that I met him is he roomed with my brother. They were roommates. Oh, wow. and, and so I went down to Miami to visit him and I hung out with him a lot because I was like, I was literally 17 years old. And I was like, oh my God, this guy makes cartoons and plays games and is a fucking dork. I love it. And I would just hang out with him a lot. And uh, yeah. this is when uh, Left for Dead, the first one, had come out. And he was like, all right, Andrew, I'm going to teach you how to grief in Left for Dead. And I was like, yeah. And he's like, so you go on a team and you try to find teams who are doing expert where like friendly fire does like half their health. And you just accidentally <laughs> shoot them every so often. <laughs> and, Genius. And, and he, he would just join teams. They're like looking for fourth. We want to do the whole campaign. And he's like, hey, guys, yeah, I've got a bunch of hours and I already beat it with my friends. Let's do it. And he would just try his best to just sneakily kill all other people <laughs> on the team. He, w- he was on the rooftops level and it was him and another guy. And he accidentally shot him down. And he's like, what the fuck? You shot me. And he's like, oh, I'm sorry, man. I'll go get you. And then he just runs off the roof and kills himself. <laughs> He's it was such a fun an time. asshole. It was really entertaining. Yeah, he's, he has it down to an art. It's amazing. <laughs> and then he goes on mic and he's like, I'm sorry, guys, I fucked up. <laughs> it was it was very entertaining. Hopefully he, he never does that with player unknowns battlegrounds, otherwise he'll get banned. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yikes. Yeah, you don't want to be doing that on those. There's another company run by fucking babies. Not oh, people. really? Oh, do you oh, keep yeah. up with player unknown at all? I mean, I played it for a while, and I, I I enjoyed it to the point where I was like, this would be a very good game if the game didn't encourage you to just sit in the ditch and snipe. Yeah. Because like, yeah. it, it doesn't seem like you can really win the game if you actually try and get out and fight people, because it doesn't seem very... It just doesn't seem like it works very well. I don't know. The problem with yeah. the formula is the more cautious you play, the better you do, but the more boring it is. And then the more yeah, action exactly. you play... The more fun you have, but the more chance you have of just losing. Having said that, watch us on Twitch. Play it. Yeah, do it. We love it. It's a fucking great game. Kind of. When it works. When the yeah. voice chat in the game fucking works. Play it alone if you're watching when, this. When, ba- just, when Battlegrounds is bad, it's boring. But when it's good, it's very, very good. Agreed. Yeah. And it's very fun having everyone sit on the plane at the beginning screaming at each other. Oh, Which man, is not I there anymore because work. Player what? Unknown broke it. The racial yeah. slurs, though, that I would hear as people jumped out were j- just the funniest. <laughs> yeah, I I'm feel sorry, like that's I, why I, I they. Loved it. I loved it. Like that, if I don't know if, if Taco was a racial slur, you'd just hear Taco as they just <laughs> they parachute did. out. Oh man, they got rid of it. that. It's Apparently, broken. well, it's just broken. Oh yeah. well, they claim, but they might have got rid of it. I mean, to give you a recap, real quick, Chris is some big, actually really big time streamer team killed someone on his stream. Just for yeah. fun. Dr. Disrespect. No, you, are you telling okay. the Dr. Disrespect story? Yeah, it wasn't yeah, for yeah. fun. Yeah, yeah, was, no. He had a I friend and I mean, wanted him in a vehicle, I think. Okay, well, I mean, I wasn't trying to not mention him. I just forgot oh. his name. But yeah, he, he team killed regardless of whatever reason. And uh, player unknown himself banned him and said, you can't do that in my game. No fun allowed. 
and this disrespect streamer person guy said, boy, I wish I could punch you, but like, it was obviously a joke. He said something like, I wish I could karate chop you like an action man or whatever. <laughs> and Player Unknown wrote this two page Jeremiah ad on Twitlogger <laughs> about how he once fell on his butt in kindergarten and he has never <laughs> overcome his fear of fists or whatever and he, how he, how words can hurt and how words are violence. Are you fucking and how he should, serious? I am That's serious very serious. Story, this yeah. is, I am practically paraphrasing him. I don't remember the details, but he literally <laughs> said, You don't know the impact words can have on violence. <laughs> rhetoric <laughs> endangering people's lives and whatever <laughs> I and that just spawned the whole <laughs> i the, fell on my bum and that hurts and i don't know I th- something like yeah i want to karate chop your kick you and he said well <laughs> one time in college someone h- hurt me and that spawned the whole why, why player does he, why does he make weenie. violent games then it sounds like you'd have ptsd every he, time he, he opens teaches up the bullies testing. a lesson jackson yeah, he's player unknown. He smites his enemies. Yeah, PewDiePie no actually came into the Twitter feed after he wrote this long whiny message yeah. and said, "Wow, it's almost like Doctor Disrespect played one of those violent video games you make." <laughs> I, I I hope that someone threatens him with just more and more creative insults to find the line. Like, I'm gonna bicycle <laughs> kick you like Liu Kang. Like, does that set him <laughs> off? I'm gonna scissor kick you. Is that is that Probably. bad? I'm gonna power bomb you like Goldberg. Is that, is that oh, bad? that that that's the oh. one. Oh, that's, that's the, oh no! Je- Goldberg had the jackknife or the what was it? He did Goldberg the spear. Had this, Goldberg had the spear. Gold it, mi- or gold dust, I think, had uh, yeah. Like a jerk off or something. And then Goldberg also had the the suplex where he'd spin them into the ground. Do you remember that? That was Booker what T. What are these? No, like wrestlers, Booker Wall T had Street the Jews. What Booker is this? T had the spinner Rooney and the scissor kick. You're right. Goldberg had right, the right, the right. Goldberg had the spear, and then his finisher was he picked them up and then spin them around into a pin. It was called the the something. It was called the I'm Goldberg and I never lose. I don't know. <laughs> that, that brings me to an interesting <laughs> question. Uh, then, Chris, do you ever? Did you ever? Or do you still currently keep up with professional wrestling? Um, no, I've never been into it. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. You, all right, no, I'm sorry. Well, thank for you for you. apologizing. You missed, yeah, you missed out. And I I feel like I did miss out. I, I I um I had a friend who was obsessed with it and. I don't know. His whole family used to watch it as uh, when I was very young, and he was very young. But his dad and his uncles would all sit down and watch it, and I'd just be like, "It's fake! How could you all be watching it if it's fake?" And the, the uncle was like, "Shut up!" Ah! And he'd be like having real fun. So I just grew up kind of resenting it, being like, ah, "But it's fake! I don't get it." <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, that's like one of those classic insults that all I've never gotten. Really, is the it's I wasn't even thing. trying to insult it. I just didn't understand how people could enjoy it since it was fake. And now I, I completely understand, but it's it's past this heyday for me now. Damn. <laughs> I'd say give it a try. It's it's never too old to watch some old Attitude Era wrestling. Oh, Attitude Era is the golden <laughs> okay. age of wrestling. Oh. I don't think anything has made me laugh harder than watching professional wrestling. It's so it's so bad. It's great. <laughs> it's so well, fucking yeah, great. I like that kind of like shit. I like yeah. stuff that's so bad. It's good. It's one oh, of my it's favorites. Fan- it's fantastic, especially when Ric Flair, the nature boy, gets involved. Woo! Then you're in for a good time. <laughs> Ric Flair fucking coughs in the ring and dust comes out. He's he's yeah. like 80 goddamn years old. But he's still so jacked. Yeah. You know, he's, he's an incredible human. Like doing all that shit at the ripe old age of 92. Yeah, I mean, he's still, like, he's still snorting coke off of, like, Vince McMahon's tits and shit. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. Is he really that old? Are you oh, he's, super, he's, he's, he's super, old. super old. Let me see. How old is he now? And then we can do know. some backwards math. Ric Flair is 68, Jesus. meaning when he was wrestling, he was in, like, his, I don't know, late 40s and 50s when he was really going hard. Yeah. He was an old, old man. Charlie? Wait, I have breaking news. Charlie? Ric mm. Flair in 2012 returned to the WWE. Oh, you haven't seen the clip? Yeah, he, he's more senile now than ever. Oh my god, I need to watch this. Yeah. This sounds Rick, amazing. I don't know what the fuck's keeping him alive, but it's he's amazing. Just a, he's a scarecrow. They prop up on stilts and control via remote to the ring. Yeah, I, <laughs> he's just a puppet that the WWE tells to dance. <laughs> they just hang him from drones and fly him in. When ratings are low, Vince McMahon goes, we need to open the book, and it's a Necronancy spell that brings Ric Flair back to the Necronancy? Exactly. He calls his, his fucking local shaman Nancy and says, Nancy, I need you to bring Ric Flair back. <laughs> she dusts him off and wheels him to the ring. Sounds like well, this- it would be the 
name of the bride and Chucky. Necro Nancy yeah. sounds like a Halloween special for kids character. I actually do want to ask you this, Jackson. You never really had anything that you actively followed or got in on the fandom of, did you? No, Lego. not really. Star Wars. Well, oh, besides, shit. well Lego, but that's, that's yeah, maybe Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. Yeah, I would say Star Wars. Childhood and now, uh, yeah, Star that's Wars. That's fair. Yeah. Jackson, what fair. what brought you into the Star I didn't, Wars I didn't, world? I, what really encapsulated you? I didn't really you? like. I didn't really like interact with other fans or anything like that. So I wasn't really a part of the fandom. I just kind of like appreciate it from afar. Message Jackson if you like Star Wars. <laughs> or Legos. That'll oh, give yeah, you yeah. some fucking stalker serial killer fans. Get them some friends. <laughs> it's not like a Venn diagram of people who like Star Wars and Legos. I feel like it's a dangerous territory. Yeah. <laughs> Don't insult Jackson. He's already embarrassed enough about Legos. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's no, it's it's bad. It's become I, a it, crippling addiction. I know. I don't it, like it. it Jackson, so why just, you're not eating is are you spending all your it money on Legos? It scares me. It's well, you, you can eat Lego if you try hard enough. No, <laughs> I don't know. That did they put that on the box? Well, it no, won't. they did the opposite. They say it's a choking hazard. Oh, <laughs> you know, if you, if you try, if you, if you start, yeah, if you start choking, try harder. <laughs> Push it down. Ugh. It says seven to twelve on the box. <laughs> <laughs> I feel real smart when I finish one. <laughs> it's like a jigsaw, but I get I, it's Star Wars jigsaws. I don't know. Jigsaw? J- is that it? Jigsaw uh, puzzles? Yeah, yeah. That doesn't yeah, sound yeah. right to me. No, it's that's Jigsaw right. Puzzles, huh? Jackson has forgotten all other forms of puzzles. <laughs> it's only Legos now. <laughs> it sees the world in bricks. Those are those flat <laughs> Legos, aren't they? Those yeah. 2D Legos. <laughs> those flat, jagged Legos. <laughs> Were you ever a Legos fan, Chris? Um, I had more connects as a kid than Lego. <gasps> oh, that's yeah. my boy. Hell yeah. <laughs> those are the, like, the Ferris wheel ones, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, connects yeah. were great. They they were uh, like the Plastic little white piece looked like there. a snowflake. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, the masterpiece, the three sixty one. Hell yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like. I, I still like connects to this day. <laughs> what a nerd! That's <laughs> a, Chris. We can ask you one of our patented official questions that we ask every single guest. Yes, How much please. do you jack off? That it was the <laughs> actual question. Yes. How much do I jack off? No, it's it's more so. Do you have any interesting masturbatory stories? <sighs> Everyone's got some. We've asked. I'm actually interested in knowing how many times you jack off those. Well, so we'll work <laughs> for his own well. personal use. Um, for the longest time, it was twice a day. Mm-hmm. Ooh, for the last week, it's been zero because oh. I got really busy this week. Oh no! Oh, that's a sh- I'm sure. I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay. to get in the way, if anyone wants to jack Chris off, let us know in the tweet at www.savingprivateryan.com. <laughs> Watch the movie and, <laughs> jack and off when you're it. when you're done, you'll have come up with a way to jack Chris off. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a good jacking off story. Um I mean there there was times where people have walked in and stared me in the face while I had a blanket over me and had a full conversation with me. As I'm like holding my hard dick in my hand, pretending that I'm not jacking off. <laughs> How That's do you a, pretend that you're not jacking off? Do you think off? they knew? I feel like they would know. <laughs> I hope not. I, I'd just be like sitting up in bed and I'd have a blanket over me because I didn't have a lock on my door. Someone would walk in and be like, Chris, you blah, blah, blah. And I'd be like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And then be like, okay. And then they close the door. Did you, but I'd have, did you have porn on in front of you or anything like that? Or were you just jacking no, up your imagination? I grew up in fucking Ireland where the internet sucked ass and I had to use my imagination. Oh, oh that's, sad. that's awful. That's why he's so creative now. Yeah. Yeah. That's Maybe. That's, he, that's he just it. keeps thinking, how would Harry Potter jack off? <laughs> Heron? <laughs> yeah, Heron. It was Heron. Heron Potter. Heron Potter, sorry. Potter. For, played by Hugh Jackman. When I was going through that stage, I used to constantly be imagining it too, but not to jerk off, more or less just to have an erection. And I do it in public too. You're Did anyone else have that? <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? back up. You only what? do it in public? No, no, not only in public, but like I always thought like the standard way that a man should like have a penis is when it was hard. So when I was still in like seventh <laughs> or eighth grade, wrong. The, like seventh or eighth grade, I just sit at my desk. And I just think about like boobies and and buttholes, vaginas and stuff. And I'd get an <laughs> erection. And I just kind of hold my hand over it and like rest it there. <laughs> I'm a hundred percent sure other people were doing it too, or at least saw me. But at the time, I thought that's kind of just what you were supposed to do when you weren't doing anything. Definitely. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the teacher wasn't on it too. 
Yeah, he, had no, he was sporting a full erection. He saw Charlie and just winked. <laughs> Keep up the I good work. Get unlimited boners. In Thanks, high Mr. School. Hardcock. Unlimited boners. That sounds like a cool superpower. It was good. It was the good days. <laughs> now you can't what have changed? unlimited boners. <laughs> what changed? It's like a now my superpower every guy has on this. He's sixty. Yeah. I snipped it's a those superpower. Cord. I opened my balls and I snipped the tendons that hold my willy up. What so is wrong with you? <laughs> what? It was a fun modification Why would project. you even joke about that? <laughs> it was my summer project. See it was an I epic prank. <laughs> I got myself good. <laughs> Self vasectomy, I did it. Uh, no, I oh, want to get a vasectomy. Uh, speaking of vasectomy, everyone go watch the movie Hard Candy starring... Uh, who's that young uh, girl? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Met Paige. Yeah, Christopher yeah. Lloyd. Emily Page. Something Page. Elijah oh, Wood. Elijah Wood. No, the girl who was like angry at uh, Alan the Page. Last of Us. From Ellen Alan Page. Yeah. Ellen Page. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, he answered you three times. <laughs> right, Elijah okay. Wood Page. That's that's actually a good movie though. So what about Arnold Schwarzenegger? Me. Did you just say the N word? <laughs> yeah. What? You said <laughs> Schwarzenegger. <laughs> I'm out of here, okay? Oh, that was a bit much, Kai. That accent is not doing you any favors with that last I'm sorry, one. I was nah. talking Pacific Rim. Jaeger. <laughs> oh. What? Jaeger. He, he's a big Attack on Titan fan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, huge. Chris, do you watch anime? <laughs> oh, I know that theme song. That's his yes theme song. That's, that's, that's the answer. That means yes. yes. We've trained him well. No, I I don't, I like that song, but I don't like that anime at all. That song is incredible. What yeah. song is it? Oh, the theme it's, to Attack on Titan. It's the intro. Oh, yeah. is it? For season oh. one. And then I like this season one opening of JoJo, but I've, I've only seen a few episodes, but I'm I'm obsessed with that one song. Which song? Where it goes, JoJo! You know that one? <laughs> well, I think it sounded like it had a band and an actual singer, but I, I, I get goes, what you're going for. <laughs> what remix did you listen now to? Now this Andrew? is Star Wars. <laughs> I'm a big fan. <laughs> Corn on the cob. <laughs> I've never heard that one before. Uh, you've never heard corn that? I love that one. It's, on it's cob. cob and then corn on the cob. You've never heard that. No. Man, that was going around when that movie first came out, and I can't get it out of my head ever since. That's good. I, I like that. Can you, can you do a Jar Jar Binks uh, voice? Do I have to? Chris? No, not you. Fuck <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I like how you took the front stage. I mean, if, you, if you're begging me to, Jar God damn it. Well, there's my ego I, I, sitting right there. I can't. I cannot do Jar Jar. I'm sorry. All right. Well, Andrew, I'm, I'm back to you then. No, 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 no. It's fine. If you can't uh, do I'm it, not, nobody can. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to do it. If I, could, if I practice it, I could, but you put me on the spot. The the problem with it's impressions okay. is if you do it well, everyone's just like, oh, that was pretty good, whatever. But then if you do it wrong, it's the most cringeworthy and terrible thing on earth. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. There's no yeah. point. Unless they what want was he to thinking? hear it. <laughs> like, how dare he? <laughs> yeah, how dare you try? Yeah. <laughs> Very upsetting. <laughs> so anyway, Charlie, do your joke. Oh, Lord. Oh, I see. I see if we're... we're I, well, let's. Since he's kept up with a couple of the episodes, and by that I mean one, I can't remember if I told it in that one. Are you familiar with the, the magnum opus of comedy? <laughs> no, tell me. We didn't oh, tell. Well, I don't think you told Swain it. So I I couldn't remember if I did or not. It's yeah. like a fucking blur to me when it happens. Well, Chris, as a successful man and as a man who is he's been in the field of comedy for a long time. I'm sorry to say that I have found the holy grail of jokes, and it's a true story. Okay. So this happened uh, quite a while ago now, and yeah. I was driving down this road called I-4, it's Interstate 4, if you want to know what that stands for. I was driving down this road with my girlfriend, it was after a long, fun, fulfilling day, just a nice little day. And as I was driving down this road, not expecting too much, I saw this sign for a restaurant, not, not an out-of-the-ordinary sign or anything, but this yeah. sign had some words on it, Chris, and you know what this, these words said? It said, Boardwalk Burgers. You know, yeah, just a little advertisement for your old Boardwalk Burgers place, you know, wholesome family fun, homeless people slapping some patties on the grill, a good, wholesome diner. And you know what, Chris, with my razor sharp wit, I saw this and I said, Boardwalk Burgers, more like board burgers, because those burgers aren't having any fun. <laughs> I, lo I love shitty jokes. 
God. Your, your humor, joke. Will, your humor a, will work completely on me. He gave you a hearty laugh, but then he had to reiterate <laughs> yeah, that it was then, shitty. Yeah. I was Couldn't even let you have it. Uh, uh, my favorite jokes are terrible, terrible jokes. There, Tell let's us lay one. it on. Charlie's emotions uh, were all over the place then. Yeah, I felt good for a minute and then he took it right back down. <laughs> Tell really us a sorry. shitty joke, Chris. I didn't mean to make you feel worthless. Yeah, really. Still gave him more chuckles than it. All other guests combined. I think the best reaction to that joke, and probably the only genuine reaction, was Ray. Ray laughed at it. <laughs> yeah. Ray, yeah. if you're listening to this, and I know you are because you keep up to date with us, I love you. Yeah, he probably <laughs> faked it because he's a nice Might guy, but still. I think you're confusing laughing at the joke and laughing at you. I'll take either one. But Chris, tell us a split. shitty joke. Yeah, Chris. tell us a shitty joke. Ah, oh, God. I don't know any. I don't know any joke. Oh, do you judge our Binks impression? <laughs> Are you watching That's the it. fucking movie on a fucking portable DVD player? I'm what sorry, I opened it on my phone. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh God, me so judge or he sounds just, sleepy. Yeah, you did sound <laughs> sleepy. I was wanting to ask you something though. In um like modern animation on YouTube, while it is dying, there is still some out there. Is there any that you still keep up with and think are making quality work? Uh other than Emily Yukis. <laughs> um let me think. Fucking Like I'm I'm gonna sound like a shithead. I don't really go on YouTube that much. I don't Bad like oh boy. <gasps> I don't like YouTube. I don't like using Good. it unless it's for background noise. And so that means I don't check out like newish kind of videos. I usually just put on stuff I know is long and will keep the room not sounding silent. That's Do you all use ad block yeah. like a good boy? No. <laughs> oh. Oh. But um I mean, yeah, on certain things just it depends. Like if it's a YouTube channel I fucking hate <laughs> that I check out of morbid curiosity, you know. <laughs> It yeah. should be the default, and then you only turn it off for people you like. Exactly. But yeah, that's um, fair. But yeah, the thing is that I I don't like using the internet that much. It's uh, I think it it makes me depressed when I do it too much. And okay. I I like yeah. I like just trying to work and uh, make stuff and hang with my friends and uh, keep it at that. Look at I, this I, 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 life. I try. Yeah. I try to distance myself from internet shit. It, it's never been good to me. <laughs> I, I, Jeez, wow, <laughs> that's getting deep. I'm sorry. I, it sounds stupid and pretentious. I'm sorry. I just um so like yeah, it's it the same. At all. It's the same with like online gaming. Like I got into unknown player battlegrounds because it was me playing with my friend. But if it was me playing against everyone else. It would be fun just to kind of get immersed and be like, oh, I'm being hunted. This is scary. But at the end of the day, you're, you're still playing with a bunch of people who, like, say really stupid, annoying shit and ruins the experience in some way or another. So I don't know. Really? I, I, I like, yeah, I don't really I like multiplayer like that games. Is, that is the only part that makes it, well, not the only, but the biggest part that makes the game fun. It's just it, yeah, running yeah, into people me. talking goofy shit. Yeah, that's what I love a lot about it. It reminds me of the old Xbox Live days back when that shit was just amazing. No party I mean, chats. It, it depends on the mood you're in. Like, I, I like having nights oh, where yeah. it's you're you're hanging out with friends and you're like meeting like weird fucks online, and it's like this is goofy. But usually, if I'm by myself, I'm, I'm not really into that. I want to play a game to get like immersed or whatever, and then that shit just pulls me out. That's fair. Yes. Yeah. So, Chris, what's criticism. your favorite game of all time then? Uh I really like Dark Souls One a lot and Bloodborne. That's a, real, that's a really good choice. Very massive. I, uh, I mean, it sounds. I mean, it's also another thing where it's like, oh, he likes Dark Souls one, of course. But it's like, I, I just, I've never been more pulled into a game before than that, and I, I really enjoyed every moment except for maybe one level. Let me guess, the uh, dinosaur asses. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, uh, God, I really wish that that's one game where I would love them to give them a, like give it a remaster and fix any of the problems it had because it's to me it's like one of those perfect, all, well, almost perfect games. You know, mm -hmm. I really like it. I found funny that people are now crying about the um, Hellblade. Yeah, Hellblade. Where, that just came yeah, out. Where it's apparently it deletes your save game if you die too many times. That's all awesome. Of all, 
all of a sudden, weird. all the people who love bragging about how good they are at video games and all that shit, all of a sudden they're all whining about how this needs to be fixed and patched and this or that. I think that's what fucking happens? awesome. What Is happens? it a bug? No, it's not a bug. It's a feature. It actually tells you if you die yeah. too many times, your safe yeah. game's gone. It lets you know it, right in the beginning. Total biscuit. Uh, well I, I could go on for days about what a douchebag he is, but he tweeted, <laughs> why should... It- the good part about being a game reviewer is that I don't have to spend time on this because I have too many other games I could be playing. Well, the other part of being a game reviewer is, you stupid asshole, that this is your job. You could be yeah. playing Hellblade for 24 hours every single day. It's What what time are you losing? I mean, and oh. if, if that's the gimmick of the game, then why would you play it if you knew that was the main gimmick? Anyone, it's for people who enjoy that. Anyone exactly. remember back when games had actual fucking game overs, and when they said game over, you had to start the game over? Yeah, I don't it's know. a concept. Yeah. When it takes it's you- not like this is a brand new fucking thing. It's for Excuse people me, who want to feel like they're actually being threatened by something and it yeah. actually gets you involved in the game. You know, I Andrew, was... are, you, are you telling me you don't like being put back to the last checkpoint two seconds ago? I'm telling you that I was I kinda, fucking hate that. I was kind of indifferent with Hellblade, but now that you've told me this, I really want to play it. Yeah, oh, me too. Andrew, that sounds awesome. I've got some bad it's... news for you. I played it last night. Two and a half hour tutorial because the puzzles are so cryptic and boring. Oh. Uh, it's mainly puzzles. It is yeah. mainly puzzles. The combat's yeah. cool. The game looks fantastic. But my god, the, ga- the at least at least the first two and a half hours I played was nothing but like a fourteen uninterrupted minute cutscene, a lot of dialogue, and uh, only yeah, the cutscenes apparently too long. But you know, you might still like it. You should maybe still no, I, it if that's what you're into. Yeah, I'd say definitely give it a try. It's very different. But my god, Andrew, the puzzles are the worst I've ever seen. It's it's not even that they're like too challenging or anything. I don't think that's the case, but they're just so boring. The puzzle consists of you having to look through like some type of fucking field goal post to see what's different <laughs> on the other side, and you do that for a bunch of stupid I, little rooms. On the plus side, it it ha- it is getting very good reviews, minus yeah. the ones that most of the bad reviews that I've seen just mention the part of oh, I died and I lost my save game. <laughs> they need to fix this. How many times can you die? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, I think don't know. Well, you get extra lives as you play. But apparently uh, too many times for all the badasses who love spouting bullshit about how we're all weenies if we don't play Dark Souls. Because but, I li- I li- the idea of that is really cool where if you die, you, you know, you, can't, you have to restart. But it's like, um, don't make a game full of cutscenes if that's the main gimmick. That's fucking That's stupid. exactly that's true. what I said. Yeah, the game shouldn't be focused on this oh, huge... Yeah lore that they build up it overloads you with lore like you go to these fucking giant rock dildos and they tell you a really <laughs> long story and then you have this super duper long cutscene where you're rowing your boat that and could then be i could see that being a plus uh, though if you're the I'm kind of person who loves uh stories like i yeah if that's what you buy for other, is long I, stories i will totally yeah. give them props if the lore is built on the idea of either starting over or cyclical nature of things or like they play with the idea of deleting your save in the story then i'd be okay uh, with it it is yeah. apparently part of the story i'm not sure but oh. here's the thing i i want this game to succeed for the sole reason that uh it's made by ninja theory right mm-hmm. yeah the guys who said fucked that up ninja guide m3 Oh. Yeah. They said that this was basically like sort of an experiment. They wanted to make an indie game that has AAA quality. So they wanted to give it all the quality and effort they could, but make it shorter so they would not have to basically play the market, right? Like most writing these days, it's ruined by, oh, you have to appeal to this market. It has to sell a lot. And to circumvent that, they tried to do this sort of tiny AAA game where they yeah. could do what they wanted and still have it be called a triple-A game. So if, if this does well, I, I would be happy just for that reason, so other developers could take a page out of that book, and maybe say, you know, th- this is an option too, we don't always have to make generic bullshit. I want yeah. the game to succeed. I may not have enjoyed the two and a half hours I've played so far, but I can definitely see the appeal. The combat is really fun, but in two and a half hours of nothing but puzzle and dialogue and only four combat scenes, it's just very underwhelming. Yeah. All right. Thanks, yeah, I like Jackson. the. I like um. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Moving on from Jackson's point. No. <laughs> I don't even know what game you're talking about. What game? Okay, is, actually, it, is, is it a Souls game? It's Skyrim, Jackson. It's like. <laughs> oh, I'm a big fan. Then it's like uh, Star Wars meets uh, Hellblade. I guess meets but Legos. Just, 
Yeah, Jackson, <laughs> what what are you excited for? Be, just hit us with something from you, man. You've been very quiet today, and I miss I you. I just want to move out of and this that's podcast. About, that's about it. <laughs> he wants to quit. <laughs> sorry. I can't, so you finally told no, us. I huh? can't. I can't. I, I'm super tired. I haven't been sleeping well, but I have. I have no real excitement. Like even I'm losing excitement from Star the new Star Wars movie. I'm not really excited about that anymore either. Really? Why is I don't that? Know what's happening? I don't know. Did, did you see some news about it that you didn't like or what? No, it's just Disney. Very How old formulaic. are you, Jackson? How uh, old are you? Twen- twenty. I'm twenty. <laughs> that that's that's just around the time you start getting yeah. sick of everything. Yeah, yeah he's hitting yeah. that cute yeah. little age, his uh, second puberty. Uh, Jackson, welcome to the best time of your life. <laughs> I came in my face last night and it hurt. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> your next step is you're going to get sick of life. You're going to start getting bored of everything. And then you're eventually going to hit the point where you don't care about anything and everything's fine again. And then Jackson, yeah. the well, best part I, though is was... when it loops back on you and you start having those feelings about yourself. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, that, man. Th- this happened. This happened like two years ago. I stopped caring about shit apart from Star Wars. <laughs> and then now Star Wars <laughs> is gone. <laughs> Maybe it's because everything is owned by people who ruin things for you. Yeah. Jackson, maybe it's because, and I, I hate to be the one to tell you this, maybe it's because the latest Star Wars things have not been good. <gasps> I, no, I enjoyed the latest I, I know. Star Wars things, though. That's the problem. Yeah, because the rest are so no good. Sense. Look, okay, <laughs> name all the good Star Wars movies. He's Wikipediaing Episode every Star one. Wars movie right now. <laughs> so, no, the actual good ones, not the funny haha, this is shitty ones. <laughs> Uh, what the fuck are you talking about? What is left? Yeah, well, no, episode, <laughs> Star, Wa- episode Star Wars is still one of those one. franchises where I think like it's one big troll community, and I'm not getting it. Like, I, does everyone love this ironically? No, no, dude. The first trilogy is fucking amazing. Uh, okay, uh, see, the thing is, yeah. I think four and five are good, and I hate six. I think it's stinky. I, yeah, six has a lot of bad decisions. And then one, two, and three are stinky. And then Rogue One was stinky. And oh, then was Super yeah, Force thank Awakens you. was thank fucking you. stinky. Fucking so thank if you, you. Okay, if you think think oh. about all these movies in this series that are stinky, it's the vast majority. There's like two actually good ones in there, and the rest yeah, are whatever. That's yeah. what I always well, thanks, Chris. think is thanks, Chris. if you look at the You're numbers, feel so much better about it. <laughs> it's objectively <laughs> ass. That's what I always Chris. I, I get to... angry at for people like who they mourn fucking it is Chester. It's objectively when, ass. You piece of shit. Yes, it is objectively <laughs> ass. Jackson, Again, we did it. <laughs> it's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> oh, Star Wars people, Christmas special. Stinky. People defend the Force Awakens and fuck off. Uh, it's not oh, good. Chris, it's fucking uh, nothing. I, it's I like watching to, nothing. I had to fucking vehemently Jesus. like accost my argument that Rogue One is a boring movie to my friends after we saw it because all three of them were like, "Oh, it was good. I liked it." And I'm like, "If you take Star Wars out of it, it was one of the most nonsensical bullshit movies." I can't remember anyone's name from that exactly. movie. Exactly. Oh, Why did Darth Vader to. even show up? Because a cameo? <coughs> oh, what if yes. you? What if you never saw a Star Wars movie? It's big scary man in black for no reason who does nothing the rest <laughs> of the film. Yeah. You know. You know what the most offensive part to me was about. The Force Awakens is that they chose Kylo Ren's voice specifically because that's the kind of voice you get in the China, like from toy producers <laughs> that what? you can really? put in little toys and plush toys and shit. Oh, he sounded really like oh, he sounded oh, like right. a shitty walkie-talkie in an '80s toy. <laughs> that's what it sounds like, and that's what I assume they were going for: is cutting production costs and whatever you Japanese know, sweatshop they were planning on using at fucking Foxconn to sell their bullshit Force Awakens gear to Jackson. I was also very <laughs> disappointed with the soundtrack in The Force Awakens because the prequels had really good music and then The Force Awakens has the weakest soundtrack out of any Star Wars movie I've ever seen. I can't remember any of the songs from Force Awakens and that just exactly. made me sad. <sighs> I like how this whole discussion was trying yeah. to cheer Jackson up about <laughs> Star Wars and it came <laughs> nothing but shitting on it. <laughs> well, maybe it's time to move on to some bigger, better things. Yeah, like Star yeah. Trek. <laughs> <laughs> Jackson, if it makes you feel any better, they're ruining Blade Runner soon. Yeah, oh my god! Okay, so here's my beef with this shit. I've been watching old action... No, I've been watching old action movies again. Whatever happened to having cool main characters like Rambo and Rocky, where the main character is... He looks like a tough guy and he's super ripped. That was the and now these days you now. have... 
That was you the have 80s. Blade Runner with Ryan Gosling, whose face looks all smushed and fucked up, like someone just was <laughs> messing around with silly putty. <laughs> Whatever happens. As, as a man who would give Ryan Gosling a kiss, I think his biggest problem is he's not acting. Like all the trailer footage I've seen, his biggest he problem is that anything. he looks like a Hellbender's character. Chris, did you make Ryan Gosling? Yeah, I like that. (laughs) Damn. (laughs) He looks like a... uh, Hang on. He does. Let me me look this up. Like a Dragon Ball P character. (laughs) (laughs) I'm out of here, baby. (laughs) Again, he he really does. I'm not doing that as a joke to name drop. Like, he he legitimately does. (laughs) Why would you think he would make a cool action hero? What is wrong with you? Like, in the original Blade Runner, you have... Harrison What's his Ford. face? What's that guy's name? Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford. Yeah, and he he plays a tough guy, <laughs> a badass, Kane. right? Not well, and, eh, kind of. Well, I mean, he he's not a, like a he's little a ninny with a goofy he's, face. He's co- he's not really a badass, but he's definitely cool. Yeah, he's cool. Yeah, he's and cool. he has a face to go with it. You don't look at his face and go, well, whatever, dork. But <laughs> Ryan Gosling, for God's sake, come on. Yeah, <laughs> I wish I looked like Ryan Gosling. I, I don't do know too. What the fuck actually, I think he's very handsome. No, J- Charlie, you're much better looking than Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling. It- that's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. I would sooner kiss Ryan Gosling than Charlie, being real. A goofy smile, and I can tell you, most of the girls I've ever talked to in my life, they also think he looks goofy, and they don't know what the fuck the fuss is about. Is there just different beauty standards in Europe? No, it, no, it's it, pretty much the same. They all still fawn over people like, uh, whatever the guy's name was, Magic Mike. Uh, oh, uh, uh, Daniel Channing Radcliffe. T- nah, right. <laughs> yeah, sure, him. Obi Whatever, Wan like, Kenobi. Isn't Channing Tatum? Uh, Isn't that his name? Channing Tatum? Yeah, 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 yeah. Channing yeah. Tatum. Yeah. yeah. So what if Channing Tatum play Harry Potter in the new movie? Oh, that would be badass. Give him two boxing gloves, too. And <laughs> hell yeah. All right, what if, what if we remade the entire Harry Potter franchise, but we replaced every single character, including like Hermione and all that shit, with just big Hollywood tough guys? Oh, just, it's, it's, it's just Rocky, but ho- Harry Potter, hell I yeah. I mean, this is exactly what Expendables tried to be. <laughs> Except well, they have I wizards mean, and magic. Oh, that's true. Yeah, but it, the Expendables yeah. could have been good. They just yeah. didn't take it seriously yeah, they, they made it PG-13, <sighs> when if they made it R, it could have been so badass. First one was R. First really? One was R. Oh, maybe I only saw the, the second first one. The first one wasn't bad. I liked the first one, but then they had to go overboard with the stuff again, which, I don't know, it wasn't that much fun. But all of those guys who... Mm. Every single actor in those movies, they still individually have great movies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sylvester Stallone, yeah. Rocky, still holds up to me. Speaking of which, Jason Statham, may you rest in peace with your career. I I, I, I feel bad for he, him. He's gearing yeah. up for a comeback. He, I hope is to he? fuck he is, because I think he's great as a tough guy. I think he's extremely he intimidating. Is. But That's after the, problem, the Transporter though, is... and Crank, he kind of fell into really not popular movies. Uh, yeah, well, what just, the fuck he... do you mean? He was in Fast and Furious. Yeah, but yeah, not as no, the lead. But before that, Charlie, he, like for five years, he has done nothing but the same role in twenty different yeah. movies. As someone called him and said, "Hey, we we need a role. You're gonna play Jason Statham. Are you in Jason Statham?" He said, "Yeah, I'll play Jason Statham." Yeah. Also, Charlie, he wasn't the lead. I'm talking about like Jason Statham as the main action hero, dude. Yeah, I mean, yeah. he was the main villain. Yeah, that, okay, yeah. that's that's good enough. I, I'd, I guess. I'd be very enough, proud of but myself it, for that. It's yeah. no transporter. What right, I'm trying no to say crank. is everyone out there, please watch Crank 1 and 2. They are two of my favorite movies ever made, and they're fucking amazing. Or they're any great. Hollywood actors out there, Kai has already said I'm better looking than Ryan Gosling. You can cast me for the heartthrob <laughs> roles if you'd like. Anyone is. I mean, I don't want to backhand my Edit compliments or ruin it, but... It's, <laughs> you don't own me. <laughs> come on. <laughs> All right, Jackson, Jackson, to, to actually lift your spirits and cheer you up, you're given full creative control. George Lucas drives his Lamborghini through your window. <laughs> And, 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 and says gift. and says, listen, I bought Star Wars I back. This. I bought Star Wars back from Marvel or whoever the fuck owns it. <laughs> Disney. It's Marvel. And I want you to make a film based on it. You have full creative control. And I know I, I asked earlier about it, but my question is, what do you think is the one key element? Because let's say George Lucas is getting kidnapped in like five minutes, so you only have time to pitch him one idea. What is the one thing you need to see in another Star Wars movie to make it actually super good? You see, but th- that doesn't make me feel happy creating the Star Wars movie. I want to, I want to watch it. I like the. But I'm no, giving all, you full all creative you control. He, okay, he, but now he, I want to know just the answer. What, what, what do you yeah. answer? Make well, I don't happy. Even know. You're not, you're uh, not, you're not getting spoiled, and you're not in the creative process. They just go, Jackson. We want your input. Uh, what's the one thing you want to see? We're doing an audience survey, and they, and you're they're, you're guaranteed to have it in the movie. That is, that's that's really hard question 
please take your time. You're editing this. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Andrew. I want to get to sleep. This is a this is a load of like I don't even know what's in Star Wars now. You have blanked me on my favorite universe. You can't. The answer is so easy. What is the answer? What Chris? is the answer? George Lucas's head is a planet. He's eating all the <laughs> other planets. <laughs> so they have, to, gold. they have to fly inside of his head and go into his thoughts and memories and kill them all. That's the coolest fucking idea for a movie I've ever heard in my life. It's like Star Wars meets Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. <laughs> Imagine they're flying through space and he sees the craft. He's like, oh, hey, everybody. Thanks for visiting. Oh, look at that little ship. And then I'm they gonna, fly in his... I'm, I'm going to CGI it into my mouth. Here's my big digital teeth. See, if, if they fly into his brain, <laughs> they'll see all of the Star Wars ideas that were rejected and approved. Oh, so it would yes. be the ultimate Star like Wars. Like Darth Insanius. Darth Insanius lives again. Darth Insanius oh, is the correct answer, Jackson. Yeah, I want a whole movie based around Darth Insanius. Darth Insanius. And the whole movie... The whole How did he go insaneous? <laughs> the whole movie is them trying to escape the maze of his head. And he's like, I'll never let you escape. <laughs> you thought you could get past me, but look, it's a wall of CGI characters. Yeah, it's perfect. Okay. <laughs> I would absolutely watch that film. I'd pay twice to watch it. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> he's way better than the Death Star. George Lucas, if you're listening to the podcast, please make a movie about your CGI head eating spaceships. <laughs> CGI head. <laughs> God damn it. Can we, can we end this? <laughs> I can't understand you, Andrew. Uh, yeah, I don't know. What we've been think. going for an hour and 40 minutes. We should probably wrap it up. Yeah, we should wrap it up. Yeah. Oh my that's God. A good, that's a good ending. I'm a fan of that idea. <laughs> uh, I, all right. I'm, I'm going to be getting a hoot out of this for a while. <laughs> thanks for watching, everyone, and big thanks to Chris for coming on here. If there's anything you want to plug or thank anything you, that you that you haven't shouted out, you're more than welcome to now. Oh, well, thank you. I'm I'm very uh, honored to be on this lovely podcast. And if you guys want to see anything from me, go to my Oni Place channel or follow me on Twitter, Oni Ng. Thank you. I'm gonna do Not that. Not verified right now. though. I'm gonna follow you Ooh, boys too. Oh, <gasps> look at him! Oh my God! What a nice man. We can send each other DMs now. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! We can talk you, about Star oh, Wars Episode Fuck. 8 when You and me can out. talk about how dumb the music industry is. To, to be polite, <laughs> Oni might be my first Twitter follow now. Oh, baby. Oh, oh, that's oh. so cute. Break oh. the seal. Oh, you pop this cherry, man. Oh. I'm gonna block you. <laughs> but now if I try to get verified, they're gonna be like, oh, he knows Oni. Fuck this guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, All well. right. See you next week, everyone. Bye, Thanks everybody. For listening. Bye bye. 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 Goodbye. Oh, well, my audio stopped recording an hour ago.